recorded? Got it. All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, today, uh, we'll start the sugya, but uh, also I, for the learning today should be for Leili Nishmas, Yitzchak Ben Yosef, and the Shem um, so we left off discussing, we were, um, we were still discussing by, by Truma, by Truma, right? That's how we, we brought in the, the beginning of this parak. Uh, we're going to get this, uh, a couple more Mishnayas we're going to hit. But anyways, so a continuation, we, we discussed of the parak. We mentioned an RL, and then we got to uh, uh, those who are uh, Tmeim, and then by re- referring to Tuma, we discussed uh, in terms of, uh, uh, of Tuma that we said that a person is Tame, also different things that one could partake of, and there's different levels of, of Tuma. And we said by Truma, right, that one needs hair of Shemesh, one needs in order that the person goes to the Mikvah, it's full yom, he cannot partake of Truma yet, the Kohanim who are permitted to eat Truma cannot take, uh, partake of, the, uh, of Truma until the evening, until the sun sets, then they went to the mikvah that day, and now it's night, now they can go ahead and ha- have their truma. And they would go to the mikvah at the hour of Shemesh? Before, before. Just before. Right, or say during the day, they're, they're, right, they're considered a tful yom. They're considered tful yom. Now, so the Gorah says, uh, third line from the top of an ayin hey, I'm an aleph, today is uh, ayin vav, right? We're going to start with ayin hey. So it's the cry, the truma lamely. Why do you need three psukim, right? Three psukim. Right, uh, one pasuk of Leyechel Ad Asher Yitahir, another pasuk of Uba Hashem Shvitahir, and another pasuk of Ad Melos Yimei Atara until the days are fulfilled. So why do you need all three? So Tzrichi, you need three pesukim. Di me Ad Asher Yitahir Lehavi Yadi B'Mai. I would not know of what it was referring to. So Kasa Achmana Uba Hashem Shvitahir. Therefore, it says wait until the sun sets. And then that's referring to that tahara. Then only at that point one can go ahead and partake of truma, because Rachman uva shemesh. And if it just said uva shemesh, how do you love the bar kapara? Maybe I would only think somebody who is not subject to bringing a carbon at the end of their tuma, such as a zav or mitzora. Um, aval de bar kapar. Maybe I would think aim at the ad de icy kapar. Maybe the only they can't even bring the, or can't even eat their truma right that night. They have to wait till the next day. Let's say on day eight where they bring their carbon. Maybe they can't have the the truma to then. Same as the kapar. So kasachmana ad melois until the days of uh, uh, of the tahara process are done. So kasach uh, so there and the vi kasachmana ad melois. If it was uh, up until those days, have a mina feel blood tvilo. Maybe I would think even without tvilo. And that was just until the days are numbered, and therefore you're okay, even if you didn't go to the mikvah. This is the kasachmana ada sheitar until he becomes purified, i.e., until he goes ahead and into the mikvah. And according to that opinion, who argues that the um, who argues with tanah devei shmal the amar bizav bal shloish rios mitzar mufad akas v'daber that maybe the pasuk is not referring to a as we saw us earlier as a zav who is bal shte rios. Right, someone who saw it uh, only two times and therefore does not require to bring a korban or a or a mitzora musgar who does not bring uh, uh, who does not uh, require korban. But maybe this pasuk is talking about someone with three rios and a mitzora who has to bring a korban at the end. So trade trade cry lamali. So therefore, the pasuk of until he becomes tahor, until he brings the actual carbon. So because that's what the, the pasuk is referring to, until he referring to someone who needs a carbon. So what? Why do you keep looking for a kachim? The Gemara in one says, "Tzuchi, you need them both." Because over there, if it was talking about yoledes, a woman, let's say who who gave birth and she say forty days, she has to mishum debruba de betumasa. Maybe over there she has to wait all the way until the end to bring the carbon because she she's already forty days. It's a long time of tuma, so therefore that tuma is a long period of time. But a zav, right, who does not have forty days, so I would say maybe no. It does not have to wait until the carbon is brought because the rachman of zav. And if the carbon, and if the pasuk is only talking about, but you had the pasuk by by zav, the lahuta miklolo. Because during the, the the times of the ziva, during the days of tuma, any type of a uh, flow is aser. A value of but a yoledes who 
during her Yemei Tahara, right, if, if she does see blood, let's say within the, for, the 40 days, the, that blood is considered to be Tahara, right? So, well, you know, we, we attribute that to her childbirth. Say hello. So therefore, I, I think that Kachim requires also bringing Karban. So therefore, Tzricha, you need to both Psukim to teach you that both a Zav who requires to bring a Karban and Yuletas have to wait also until they bring their Karban to go ahead and partake in the Kachim. And Bemayim Yuva the tummy of the Erev Lamali. Well, that's as stated explicitly by the Yoletas. Right, but it's telling you why we need to buy Yoletas and buy a Zav, because we couldn't learn out Kachim one from the other, because each one has some sort of Kula and Chumra by it. So therefore, by Zav and by the Yoletas, we learn that um, they, they both require until after, to, 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 for Kachim, to after the carbon is brought. So why do you need the Mayim Yuva the Tamei the Erev? Right. Um, let me see. Right. So the pasuk over there in Vayikra, right? It says the Chol Asher Yipol Alav Mehem the Meisam Mitam the Chol Kli Eitzo O Beged O Or O Sak Chol Kli Asher Yasam Lachav Behem the Mayim Yuva the Tamei at the Erev Eitayer. So what is this pasuk referring to? Linegia. Right. This is referring to coming in contact to touching. Right, so touching that one, even to touch it before the 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 the, the truma would be metamit. The tanya or the brisa says vitamit. This shall be tamay until the evening. Yachol lakol. Maybe you think for that for for everything. So tamaleima vitayir. Right, uh, it becomes tower even before the night sets. And even tayir yachol lakol. I would think maybe that's even before. So tamaleima vitamit. So okay, it's that kind of the meiser, kind of the truma. So when, so one, which one is tar? Which one is tummy? We know which one becomes. Can you touch before the night? That would be referring to the the. That would be referred to the meiser, right? The meiser shady. And which is the one that you cannot touch? You can only touch until the evening, right? That would be referring to truma. I the epochana. Maybe you can switch around. Say maybe you can touch truma during the day, and but do not touch meiser shady until the evening. So our answer is now be stubborn. He to the chamir achila the truma and achila the meiser. So achinami chamir and the gia the truma and the gia the meiser. That since when it comes to the eating, we say that you can eat meiser sheni before the sun sets, right? But but truma you have to wait till the evening. So too when it comes to touching, in terms of being matami, that one could touch if you went to the mikvah, even though it's not erev shemesh, she can touch meiser sheni, but he can't go ahead and touch uh, truma or vi by sema nigia the truma mihachanafka. Maybe we learn that touching. Truma before the sun sets will be metameit. Uh, from a different pasuk, it says bechol kodesh lo yisiga. It says bechol it says bechol kodesh lo yisiga, referring by yoledas she should not touch. So azara lo ochel, right? This is referring to a warning for ochel, even though it says bechol kodesh lo yisiga. So in elo nagia, maybe the noiga, maybe it means referring to touching. So tamalema, therefore it says bechol kodesh lo yisiga velamikdash lo yisavo. It says the kodesh you should not enter. And then the Mikdash Lai Sabo, right? Because you shouldn't touch, and then Mikdash you should enter, right? I explained opposite. So Makish Kadesh Lai Mikdash. So therefore, we have a hekish comparison between something which is Kodesh to entering the Mikdash. Ma Mikdash Dover Sheesh Bandias Neshama, just like that Mikdash is referring to that one could be Chayev, right? By entering, if he's Tamei, he enters into the Mikdash, he's Chayev with Misa, he's Chayev with Kares, Af Kodesh, Dover Sheesh Bandias Neshama. So too, when Kodesh, we're talking about something that has uh, the Tila the Tila Neshama Leka. And when it comes to touching, we're now referring to, it can't be referring to, uh, there's nothing you touch, you be, that you be promised. So, the so therefore, it must be referring to eating. And the reason I says Lashon Nagia, Ki Achila. The Nagila is like Achila, that just like when it comes to the Achila by Truma, it's only in the evening, so too the Nagia. Uh, is also for, uh, uh, referring to, uh, re referring to so the nagia is referring to something which also can uh, cannot be eaten until the evening. So to the nagia is forbidden during the day, just like uh, the eating is is also uh, during the day. Fine. Psua daka. So psua daka right is is referring to a, a person who basically uh, uh, got injured. Um, uh, uh, you know. It, it, after he was born, it's not he was not born right with it. Somebody who uh, is, is crushed, right or uh, injured. So tanner abanan. So we say tanner abanan. 
no, I skipped the line. Or Suzy. Psudak, sorry. Tudas. Yeah, I'm like, this is a terrorist. Like that. So, Psudak, Chulik. So, man, Tana, the Mishnah, Maris, the Bia, Psula, the Raisa, Achla. So, now, we said in our Mishnah that Psudaka is Usr. A woman who is with a Psula Daka, she, you know, she has yeah, relations with, but she becomes Usr, not to Truma. Okay? Because she was, she's, because, because those people are Usr, La Bobakal. So, right, so, so a woman who's with somebody who is Asa Labola Kal, she passes her from Truma. So now, but our Mishnah says, let's say he got injured and she wasn't with him yet. No, she's just married to the guy, but let's say he was overseas when he got injured, right? So she still can go ahead and eat Truma. So where do we know? We see the Deraisa the, the that she's Mishtameris Labia, that even though she's like waiting, right, for Bia, knows that's her husband, so that she can still eat it up until the point in time where she has uh, relations with him. She's a Arus at this. No, point. no, she's married. Let's say she's married. Oh, she's, she's, she's married to him. But as long as she doesn't, she uh, she's she's not been with him, right? As long as she, uh, right, then they, they haven't been together, then she's okay. So Amr Abel Ezra Machlekes Shnuya. It's a it's a it's a well known Machlekes. Uh, the the Rabbi Ezra Rabbi Shivani as the Pesach Rabbi Ezra Shivani. And who they hold that uh, even though that uh, you know she's as long as she's not with him, and knows she's only right married, but the, there's no relations, then she be mutter. Even if it would be the opinion of Rabbi Meir, uh, who holds uh, in that case that normally it's us, sir. Over here, that was talking about their machlokas. Over there was referring to a, a person who was engaged, let's say, to someone who's also to them. So over there, Rabbi Meir says it's us in that case because she's engaged to someone who she can't have relations with. So therefore, she can't eat truma. But over here, Rabbi Meir would agree because she was already married to this guy for five years and she was eating truma. So she doesn't have to stop right away. She only would stop if she has relations with her husband, who is a psudaka, who is also lavoluka. Rabbi Meir says that she already ate truma. No, that's not a good. Uh, right? If you would have a Bas Yisrael who was married to a Kohen and then her husband dies, right? She goes, mm -hmm. she goes back to father's house who's Yisrael. So maybe mm -hmm. over there you could say, well, Shekfarachla, since she already ate, right? Because she was married to the guy, that's far wouldn't work. Rabbi Yechman. However, Rabbi Yechman says, no, you can't compare the two. Hasam, Paka, Kenyano, Hachalai, Paka, Kenyano. Over there, the reason why I can't eat anymore is not because she was once eating truma. It was because the whole reason why she ate truma was because she was acquired. She was, you know, under her husband, who's a Kohen, but now he's dead. So therefore, obviously, you can't go ahead and eat. You don't have the same svara to say, well, since she already ate, she can continue eating because in the case of Sodaka, you're still married to the guy who, had, who, who got injured, right? Uh, but nevertheless, um, you know, you, since you did in relations, uh, you could be with him. Fine. Now, Azo, so we said in the mission, Azo, so, uh, so was a person who's considered to be uh, wounded. So, Tana Rabban, Azo, so Daka, Kol, Shanitsu, Beitzim, Shalo, Dafilo, Achas, Mehen, right? Uh, anybody who's uh, uh, Beitzim, right, testicles, or is Beitzim, were, uh, um, or were injured, were wounded. Even if it was one of them, viafilo nikvu, and even if they were only, let's say, punctured, viafilo nimuku, or let's say they uh, dissolved, right, viafilo chasru, or they were chaser. And Amar Rabbi Shmuel ben Asher Rabbi Yechem Brocha Shemati biyachamim they kerem biyachas. I heard it in kerem biyachas. Kol shein lo ella beitz achas eno ella sris cham. If a person only has uh, one, or one guy injured, he's called considered to be a sris cham. A sris cham now sris is normally. Uh, a, a person who's uh, he can no longer have kids, but Sri Schama is a temporary one. Sri Schama, like the sun, like the sun is, you know, goes up and down. So there is this Sri temporarily and he's going to go back. So therefore, one is only a status of Sri Schama, which is not Asr Lavel Bekal. Right? And the Kasher and his Kasher. Sri Schama, Sakodaisa. Right? You think it's Sri Schama? Ella, Hare, who is that actually a Sri Schama? Hare, who kiss Sri Schama? The Kasher. He's like a Sri Schama and he's. So the guard says, I, Venik of Loy Moli, I, someone who has a, a, a hole or is punctured, Loy Moli, he can't go ahead and give birth, right? He can't have a child. I, there was a person who, uh, I guess he went up to climb a dikla, a, a palm tree, right? And then turn the page, 
right? I guess he had an injury up there. He had a thorn, right? Uh, he got the thorn punctured, right, uh, by his Beitzim. Venafuk minei kachut the the mugla, right? And then I guess there was a uh, um, it was punctured and it was you know a stream. I guess whatever you know was filled was was coming out of his Beitzim. The oily, and then he had a child later on, right? That I was you know. <laughs> You know, they, they, they went to his kids, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, Shomzach. Sigmar says, no. Uh, yeah, if that was the case, then you maybe want to go investigate the matter and see who the child's real father is. So in other words, they didn't buy it, but they said that just because, you know, you're injured, oh, you saw he had a child. Well, you don't know he had a child. You know, his wife had a child. So maybe uh, go investigate to see uh, DNA test to see who the father is. And Amr Rav Yudam Shmuel, so Daka b'dei Shemayim Kash. Someone is a so Daka b'dei Shemayim, right? If it happens b'dei uh, Shemayim, um, right? Uh, Rashi says, you know, thunder, lightning, or hail, or something. Right? Not not thunder, right? But you know, if something uh, you know comes from there, then some a natural disaster. Then he is Kash. He's still uh, Mutter the Kahal. So it's I'm a, still an injury. It's, it's not, not like it was right. So so uh, so according to uh, so, so according to Shmuel, right? So it seems that it only has to be something. They are them as be shemayim. Then it's similar to uh, a, a person who was right, uh, perhaps who was born like that. So I'm a rabbi. I knew the Karina and Pesua below Karina Hapatsua. Right. So this is called uh, Pesua, not Hapatsua. Now Hapatsua is he who was basically wounded by Hashem. However, as a tana, a nemar lo yavo patsua, a nemar lo yavo mamzer, male halam b'dei adam, afkam b'dei adam. Just like the a person who's a mamzer is lo yavo b'kal is done by man-made, i.e., was done by relations with two, you know, with 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 uh, human people, right? It wasn't caused by a mamzer wasn't caused by anything else. So too, a uh, psodaka, right? It has to be caused by man or it has to be caused, you know, due to a man, but if it was caused by the Shemayim, then it would not qualify as a psodaka if he was you know, born that way, right? Or he was uh, injured some way, but they Shemayim, then they would not constitute a, uh, as a psodaka who is lo yavo bakal. And I'm a rubber. Because he's born that way, then right, he's uh, a kosher. So the chayre that that would be the bidei shemayim, yeah, right. According to Rashi, that's his one. It's his second example, right? Meme imo, right? Now, Amar Rava psua If he was psua bekulon, right, and any one of his uh, uh, um, uh, organs, we'll soon see that there's basically three organs, the re, three reproductive organs that won't to be injured with. So or dach bekulon. Or either one was dach, right? Psua daka, right? Daka dach, right? It's talking about crushed or karus or or like you know, like like kares, cut off, severed. Bakulan, all those would disqualify. So what do I mean? Psua bakulan is bain shenitsa hadid, bain shenitsa bebeitin, bain shenitsa chute beitin. Right. So the, so the three parts are the gid, right, which is the organ itself, right. If that was wounded. Or the baits him, or the testicles, or the chute baits him. I guess the uh, mm-hmm. the, uh, the 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 what's it called the the arteries or whatever that lead to the baits him. Those, if any of those are wounded, that all constitutes a psodaka. And uh, similarly, dach bekulon, and that which you say was dach bekulon, it means ben shenidach hagid, ben shenidach habeitzim, ben shenidach chute beitzim. Whether it was uh, uh, crushed, whether the gid itself, or the beitzim, or the chute beitzim, or karos that which was severed bekulon, ben shenichas hagid, ben shenichas habeitzim, ben shenichas chute beitzim. All of these qualify. So all three injuries, to, or, or to any one of the three, would qualify as a psuadaka. And Omar Leham Liraban Larav, Lami Mai, Dai Psuadaka, Be Oisamako. Right? May, who says Psuadaka is a friend of Oisamako? Right? Ema Miroisha. Maybe it means uh, his head. Who says it has to do with uh, uh, reproduction? Summer Lay, Bidaloi, Marley of Doros. By the fact that there is no like Psuadaka or Yavo Bakal, maybe it's only uh, uh, Dorisha, but Dorshani is okay. So it must be talking about. That there is no further generation, right? In the IE, so the, was, the injury was done to a place that would prevent reproduction, right? If we're talking about something that was done, let's say, to the face, he severed his lip or he severed his ear or some of his nose, 
maybe that would, so then you could have multiple generations, right? But over here, it's one generation. Where's the other generations? Well, because we're talking about injury of the reproduction organ. So, so therefore, by the fact that says, um, uh, so I'm going to be the love of the I have a double high delay amount of a Doros, do you who does? They're brave, but very kosher. Maybe it means that no, because the reason why Doros we don't list them is because his son or his grandchildren, those big are kosher. So, Dumya, so the Gemara answers, so Dumya to Karas Shikha, right? Ma Karas Shakha be Samako, Afai Nami be Samako, just like over there, right? When it says a uh, shafka, right? Something was severed was a shafka. So what does it mean? So it means that something which was well, soon see, which means flowing, just like over there, right? Kar shafka was more specific to the osamakam to its reproduction. So to over here, the uh, tua and daka is also referring to the uh, osamakam because shafka gufe mimai the osamakam. So how do you learn from kar shafka? So ema misifte. Maybe it means from his lips. So shafka kasiv uvumakam sheshayfech, right? We're talking about shafka, right? Something that spills, so something that liquid comes out. I.e. the also makom. I vei memachayim. Maybe it means his nose, right? His, you know, his, his his nose is running, right? Maybe it was referring to the atmosphere. So miksiv b'shvoch, right? Does it say b'shvoch? Says karos shafka kasiv. It's referring to something. Uh, uh, which is shafka mishaide krisa shayfe that if you go ahead and you, uh, uh, you 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 sever it you cut it right then it would spill out shlaide krisa in a shayfe ela mekalea right um, but if it was not severed then rather it wouldn't spill it wouldn't spill forward rather it would be mekalea right it would uh, I guess it would it would it would it would spout it would come from over there. Um, I guess referring to, you know, when he goes to the bathroom, right? But anything else, right, which would spill, right, uh, whether from his face, right? So that would, I guess, be shayfek as opposed to over here, uh, I guess, before it was, uh, you know, I guess before it severed, it's mekaleach, but afterwards it would be shafach. And masni satana, and a price we learn, nemar lo yavab tzudaka. Just like when it's talked about by the Mamzer, he was created through some sort of prohibition, right? With the Osamakam for reproduction. So to over here, the Tsudaku uh, also was referring to a scenario where there was some sort of the, the, the Pagam came from Osamakam and therefore is referring to somewhere in the, the reproduction and now referring to, let's say, somewhere on the face. Now, Nikev Lamata Miatora Shaknegdo Lamala Miatora. So now the, the, the issue is, right? Some, so some of the issue is that if we'll soon see by the Atorah, right? When it goes below the Atorah, right? Assuming when a, a person is standing, so below the Atorah, right? Any damage towards the tip, towards the end. Right would be okay if it was up higher from the atorah. That would interfere, right? That would interfere with the reproduction. So it's anything that would interfere with the reproduction, i.e., basically, you know, uh, a lamala higher than the atorah versus below. Now, nikev lamata miatorah shekinegdo lamala miatorah. Let's say there was a hole, right? That was below the atorah, and then but it went to the other side above the atorah. So he thought to go ahead and matter. So Any sort of hole or puncture in the atara would be ma'akev. In other words, would cause the, per, uh, the person to, to be a uh, to be a psua dak. Fine. Two dots. Uh, we're on Ayid Hey with Bayes. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's say uh, five lines. Up on the, by the two dots of the, of the skinny lines, excuse me. So the Mishnah said back in the Daf Ayin, I'm going to just find it for a second, All right? So the Mishnah said over there, uh, and if there's any part of the Atara still intact, even though a thin string, then it is Kasher. Now, so Yasi Rabbi, 
That which you said is even there's a, a, a little strand that's still in place. Are we saying al penei kula, al penei ruba? Is it in the majority of it or the entire? Samarle, rava, to spell the ravino. Meleichut al penei ruba. It just has to be a small on the majority of it. Uklape resha, right? But towards the uh, upper side. The upper side, as long as the majority of it has a strand, then the person is considered to be kasher, motulavo bakal. And amarafuna vakumas kshera, the marzle psula. Right. So if it's like a, I guess the injury is like a kumus, right? Like a, a, a pen, a quill pen, I guess, you know, which is slanted across, right? So if the, the injury is slanted across, right, then it's kshera, right? This is done by, by, by the atara, kamar slave. But if it's done like a gutter, I guess it, you know, comes down, right? That's the, the, the injury, right? Then it's psula. Why? Because hai shall be a vir, hai lo shall be a vir, right? If it is done, if it comes down, then the, the, I guess there's room for the air to be there. And the air would not be able to, I guess, uh, it would not be it for, for the Zera, right, to uh, maintain, I guess, its, uh, its, to, temperature. its temperature. And therefore, a person would not be able to reproduce. So therefore, that's the reason it buys a psul. But if it's done the other way, it doesn't allow the air to be in. So therefore, it could basically, you know, uh, be at the, the, the proper uh, temperature in order for it to go ahead and, uh, I guess, want to reproduce. No, but Mar Kshera, Okumus Psula, opposite, he says, if it's uh, that which is, you know, dips down like a gutter that is a, ch- a kasher. And but Okumus, but if it's like a, the, the, the pen, the, the, you know, the quilt pen, then it'll be Psula. So it's a high garid, by low garid, right? Because one is a case that I guess the zero will be masriya properly, in another case it will not be. And I'm a rava kavasi the ravuna mistavra small actual say like the first shot, it's a high low shell be avira, a high low shell be avira, and you know having to do with the temperature. Why? Because imishum gridusa, right? Midi the havi abarza de chavise, right? So he says no. Even if the the terms of the, the drawing out the zero. Uh, I guess it would be no different than a, uh, a spigot on a barrel that it is possible for it to come out, um, uh, you know, through the end, and therefore it would be able to go ahead and a uh, person will be able to go ahead and be and reproduce. And Omar le Ravina le Mermeimar Hachi Omar Marzutra Mishmed Rafapa Hilchasa Bein Bekumus Bein Bumarzek Shera. Either one, the halach is both them are kosher. Miu Miboyle Lamata Meataro Lamal. However, the real question is, is it above or uh, below the Atara? So where it says, Pshita del Malam Yatara, right? There's no question that, it's, uh, that, 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 we're t- that above, right? That's what we're referring to, the above. These talk about the Matam Yatara, Afilo Nichos Hagid Nami, right? Because even if it was below, even if it was uh, completely cut off, Right, the Ravina, the Shmurin, the Memar, who did both, right? And so, in other words, he wasn't really asking because he, he was just testing him to see if he knew the Allah is in this case. And he says, no, if it was, uh, uh, you know, below it, then it wouldn't, uh, you know, be even a question. He's only talking about above it. And how Uvda the Havi Masimachsia, Shafi Mar Baravashi, the Kumos, right? There was a case, there was like a Kumos, the Akshare, and he mattered the person to Mutter Lavo Bakal. All right, the and how Uvda the Havi Pumadisa was also my son Pumadisa is Tatim Guvasa the Shikha Zera. The Avik Bemakam Ketanim. So I guess the person had an injury, right? And uh, w- w- like in this case, and the Zera, right? So the, the, the Zera came out in the Makam uh, where he goes ahead and I guess it came out through the tube where one usually goes to urinate. In other words, there's, there's two tubes there. And I guess the Zera, because the, 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 the tube, I guess, where the Zera normally comes out was damaged and therefore it came out of the Makam of, uh, of Katanim, of the Makam, uh, you know, where he goes ahead and urinates. So Sarah, Bibi Barabe, Lakshuri, he wanted to matter. Samara, Papi, Mishum. Right, but because you come from you know people that aren't uh, you know from a, a family, right? That that's normally you know cut off. You know that's you know the, the short-lived lives. You know could be from the house of uh, Ailey, right? You're going to say something that also doesn't uh, you know that short-lived and doesn't make sense, right? The mekayma. So we say the mekayma mevashla shalom mekayma right? 
Only if it's in its proper place, then it can be mavashal, then it can cook, then it can reproduce. But if it's not then uh, the normal makom, then it shouldn't. So Amar Rav Yudam HaShemuel, Nikev and Nistem, what about this case? If there was a hole and then it became sealed. So Kol Shilu Nikra, Nikra and Nikra, Pasel, Vilav Kasher. So if we're talking about a case of that, if he would be, uh, uh, be a carry and then it would tear open, so in other words, there wasn't a good seal, it wasn't a good uh, uh, wound, right? In other words, it didn't heal properly. So then it's, it's possible. But if it was an easting, if it became naturally, you know, covered up, right? The wound, and therefore to, you know, to, 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 you know, to, to cover it, then um, uh, it would be kosher. So have to be a rubble. So rubble wondered. So hecha. So where? If it's below the Atara, I feel like it's not me. We said anything below the Atara is not as important, and therefore it should be okay, right? So rather we're talking about the Atara itself. There was a wound there. And itmar nami omarav mari barmar omar ufa mershmuel nikev beatara atma venistam. If there was a hole in the Atara itself and it came sealed, kol shi lonikav venikav pasul v'ilo kasher v'ilav kasher. If um, that the, he would be uh, Nikra, mm-hmm. if he would be uh, Mazria, then it, it would, if, if, if the, the hole would you know, open up, then it's possible, but if it would remain intact, then it's Kasher. So he says, okay, what should we do in order to figure out this case? How do we know if this person is, is good or not, right? We can't do, uh, you know, uh, you know, send him to the hospital. What do you, what, what do you want us to do? Some are late. Mas Nisan. Now, once again, I, I, I don't know whether this works or not, but the Gemara brings it down. Mas Nisan. Nama Chamima Desari. Go ahead and bring warm barley bread. Manechinle Abe Pukre Mikre. And go ahead and place, and place it right in his backside, right? Uh, by his base, right? Right? By his, uh, you know, by his anus, right? Where he goes to the bathroom, right? And I guess place the warm bread there, and then he'll be mikre, right? He'll be a uh, balkari. Then that will cause him to go ahead and uh, and, and, and discharge the chazina light, and then go ahead and check. So at Alma Yaakov Right? We're talking about people that it's so easy to become a, a balkari, like uh, Yaakov Avinu, Right? The first time that he was uh, he was. Uh, uh, Valkyrie was when the, he, he um, you know, that his wife came pregnant uh, with Ruby. So when Rabbi, Makvinan, Kame, big dates, Sveinim. Okay, so go ahead and here, plan B, right? Go ahead and, and bring, you know, colorful woman's clothes, right, uh, in front of the person. So I'm a Alma, Barzile Hagiladihu, right? Is everybody like Barzile Giladihu, who also, I guess, in, in earlier times, Right before he the the chuba, right? he was such a person who that uh, he would be mazria from 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 anything from you know from even something so small from colorful women's colorful clothing. Rather, let's all right, we'll go back to uh, the first case with the warm uh, barley bread. Right, tarer abanan nike pasul mipnei shehu sheises. Right, a person who uh, there is a hole. Right, he got punctured. Right, he is puzzled. Why? Because it dribbles out, nisdam. But if it was, uh, if it was uh, uh, sealed, then kasher mipnei shu meilid v'zeo puzzle shechayzel achshir. And this is something that it would return to. What does it mean zeo lemutu lemutim? I wasn't mean that it returns to become good. Lemute karam shalom meachmas maka bria deina karam. Right. So if you have some sort of, I guess, a scab or something that grows over. Right from a uh, when it comes to an animal, when it comes to trephus, right? So to exclude that, the enokarum, that that's not a, a way to seal it. So in other words, there are certain injuries. So over here, this is an injury when it comes to tzedakah, uh, 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 right? So that it could be sealed, as opposed to let's say by an animal, right? A hole in its lung, and it gets scar tissue there. So that would not be a way for the animal to once be a trefa and then all of a sudden be a, a kosher animal. And Shalach le Rav Idi Bar Avin le Baye, so hey, so hey, Captain, so what do we do? So my sin, so Rasa. 
Uh, so how do you go ahead and you heal it, right? What is the way to heal it in order that it goes back, that he can be Mazria uh, normally, and therefore he be kasher mozzalavol b'kahal. So he says, go ahead and bring some barley, umastrinalei, and then you take the little barley uh, kernel, right? I'm not talking about barley bread, bring the barley kernel, and you umastrinalei, right? You do street with you, you scratch it, umasin tarba b'shafinan. And then you go ahead and bring fats, and then you, you then you, 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 uh, you spread the fats upon this wound, umasin shimshina nabla, then we go ahead and bring a large ant, umastrinalei, the ratio. Then I guess the ant goes ahead and I guess starts to eat away or whatever is down there. And then you snap off basically the rest of the ant's uh, body and you just have basically the head intact. And now the head is basically, the, I guess what's the barley is now the seal in order that uh, the, the, this, this puncture wound is now considered to be properly filled. Right? It just it sort of reminds me like when they have like, uh, you know, the hole in a, in a tire, you know, the way they fix yeah, it. Right, they, yeah. They, yeah, they yeah. put it in and they pop it off and that just part remains in as the seal. So I guess the head of the ant remains, uh, you know, uh, in the, I guess the-, the Must have been the queen bee, queen ant. Yeah, all right. <laughs> the Davka Sarasa, by the way, don't get any of their ideas of what other types of kernels, only use barley of al parzla mizav zar. But use something else, even let's say a small little piece of steel, right? Then that would uh, that would also that would actually uh, increase the wound and that would make it better. Bahani Mili cuts it. There's only a small one of Algado, Miklav Kafil, right? Uh, that would actually come off and that would not be able to be fixed. And Amar Rabbi Ravuna Hamatil Mayim Shdeim Kaimais Pasul. One who goes ahead and he uh, he's Matil Mayim. He's going to the bathroom. He's urinating from two places. He right? comes out in two areas. Then that is he is Pasul. And Amar Rabbi Less Hokas Aloik Kevra Aloik Ab. The Allah is not like Rab Baravuna in this case, and also the Allah is not like Ravuna, right? His father. So. Brought the the halach is like the son of and that which you just said over here that he says pasul v'olakali argues is mutl v'olakal and Abba and what is father Amar Avuna Nashim Selelas of Zoo right if two women are uh, are together then they are psulois lekuna right if they have sort some sort of uh, um, uh, intercourse or something uh, together right um, then they are pasul v'olakuna uh, and that was the halacha stated by Avuna they feel the rabbi yes yeah. He says, even so the one sheet that holds the, the, the person who's a single man, a single woman, he's he's bala, right? The shame ishus as a zona, he makes her a zona, which would then be usher to a kohen, right? So may, over there, that's only hani ish, that's with a man with a woman. About isha, but an, a woman with a woman, that's just pretus of the alma, that's just pretus, uh, nothing more. Uh, nothing less, and therefore that would not be possible the kuna, and uh, so therefore he argues also with Rafuna. Fine, neither so could be with the kohen. Yes, yes, yes. All right, fine. Nine Mishnah. Yes. Uh, we can discuss it afterwards. Fine. <laughs> what does Tyson say on that? <laughs> there is Tyson there, Mister Lillis, right? Fine. <laughs> Zuck the Mishnah. Suadaka, the Kriskefa, the Shafka. Mutaran begiyores umishukreres a psuadaka. So these persons also love obekahal. So they are mutter to a, to a convert, right? So it's not all Jews they can marry. Giyores uh, shukreres or a free slave. They na oisin elam ilavo bekahal. They only also love obekahal. She namar lo yovam psuadaka v'chadoshevcha bekalasha. Right? So it says they're only uh, to uh, usher. Right to enter into Kalashem, but Giyores and a Meshukreres would be mut. It applies to Mazer. So let's see. Let, let's see what's going on here. Let's see who we're referring to. Let's see what's Mutu Levo Why Giyores? She should be like a regular woman. So let's see. Right. So let's see. So boy, mine mirasheshes psudaka kohen. So a psudaka who was a kohen. Mahu bigiyores mishukreres. Now, a kohen is normally not allowed to go ahead and marry a, uh, a zona, right? A, a reason why a, a kohen can't marry, let's say, a giyores is because we assume she was uh, mizana before, and therefore, even, even if she's, you know, it doesn't matter what she says, right? She is usher to a kohen. So, but what's let's say this kohen is also psodaka, 
So mm-hmm. now, can he go ahead? Mahu. So what is that lock there? Big years, Mr. Chorus. Do we say, because they say, do it, does he still remain as Kedusha as a Kohen? Or do- or maybe Sudak has really lost the status of a coin of being forbidden to marry Gioras, and therefore it would be Mutter to marry Gioras. Some other Rav Sheshes, Tanisua, Sudaka, Yisrael, Mutter, Benesina. He is Mutter with a Nasina, right? So Nasina has a status of the Shiva Umos, right? From the Givainim. So as it stands of, uh, of the Shiva Umos. Now, so he, a Psudak Yisrael, is Mutter in Asina. And if you want to think that the person is still in the, the Kedusha, so you can kind of say, bum, bum. Well, there's a separate answer. You can't go ahead and marry someone who's uh, not Jewish. So how could you say a Psudaka can marry a Nasina? Uh, Right? So, Lechara, he doesn't have the Kedusha. Right? So, so too in this case. Right? So, uh, so uh, Tudaka Cohen also Lechara maybe loses his status of Kedusha. And therefore, he'd be mutter to, you know, to Gyaris, to Mishukras. Samarava. Atu Hasa, Mishun Kedusha, Vla Kedushu. Wait, so Rava says, what? The whole Cheshbon over there is whether a person has the Kedusha or not, and that what entitles him, whether or not he can marry someone who's from the Shiva Umos. Right? Duma ben Maybe the whole issue is we don't want you to go ahead and marry of a Why? Because your children will go ahead and serve and idol worship. Now, Bahani son of the So in this case, time of the Chavim, Kimigayer be so right? And and therefore, maybe maybe this is only talking about when they're you know as you can what, before they convert, right? But after they convert, right, then they're up, then they would be okay because now after they converted, right, they you're, you were not concerned anymore of them worshiping idols. Rabbanu the Gazibu, and then the the Rabbanu were guys says, no, you still shouldn't go ahead and marry them, and and the, and now the the, the converts. But only the ones who are able to have children. Right, but those who can't have children, there would be no gzera. In other words, really, mm-hmm. you can't go ahead and marry them if they convert. Mm-hmm. Lamaisa, you can marry them because your children won't worship idols. Mm-hmm. Or make a gzera, you should you even shouldn't uh, uh, marry the shivumos even after they convert. But this yeah. gzera was only said on people who can have children. But sodaka and these people are talking about like a because mm-hmm. if they can't have children, there's no gzera there. They should be able to go ahead and marry them. Right, so now it's now it's a question that which we said in the Sina wasn't necessarily referring to before the conversion, it was referring to in the Sina after the conversion, of course. So, Elamiata, according to what you say, Mamzer, the Baralizo, before conversion, yeah. Oh, so because no, because you brought the puzzle, like this bum, you should not go ahead and marry them. So, Elamiata, Mamzer, well, what a Mamzer. Who is a leader who can go ahead and, have, and reproduce and have children? So, so moms would not be able to go ahead and marry, right? Because there'd be a xera on the, the momser. So, about to not, momser in the scene and the of Ozebazem. A momser, right? Alan pointed this out for it, can go ahead and marry a, uh, a, a converted in the scene. So, look, you guys are about a big share. Maybe the xera is only said by Ksherim. You know, it's those people who are, who are Mutal of Obakal, right? Therefore, the Psulim were not good as their and therefore a, a Mamza would be able to go ahead and marry the scene. And Adam Rabba, however, no, La Milsi, but Yaisa was a Chavim, less Lahu Chasmus. No, that which you said, referring to maybe we're talking about before, that would not make any sense. Why? Because that which you say, Loisis Chat and Bum, don't marry them. Well, what do you mean don't marry them? You can't go ahead. There is no Kedushin, right? There is no marriage when it comes to a Yisrael and Avigar Chavim. So what is it referring to? Obviously, it means it has to be referring to a scenario where there would be some sort of Kedushin. And therefore, it's only after they convert, that's where the Shail is. The Shail is, after they convert, can you go ahead and marry them or not? Because otherwise, Chatiban couldn't possibly tell you before their conversion, because before the conversion, it's nothing. Right? It's like marrying a tree. It's not considered to be a chas. It's not. There's no marriage there. So therefore, it's referring to after. So, Mason is that 
All right, so Mesa Rabbi Yosef, what you can't go ahead and marry them. I says over there, Vaischat in Shlomo es bas paro melech mitzray. So it says over there that it's he he married bas paro. Right. He married her, and it was called a marriage, right? He was married to somebody who uh, uh, who wasn't. So Gwaria says, okay. So Giragari, he converted her before. He converted her before, and then uh, 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 then Shlomo took her. Uh, as a, a wife, so I Well, wait. There was a rule that they did not accept converts during those days, so he could have converted her. And nevertheless, the pasuk says he married her. How could he marry her if right? There was she was of a kachavim. So midu tama elul shulchan malachim. Wait. The whole reason why they didn't accept converts in those days is because they didn't want people to be fair weather fans, right? Uh, the Jews are on top. I'm going to become a Jew, mm-hmm. right? So, but that's only for that reason. Oh, but she was Basparo. She was a princess. She was uh, ready. She didn't need him. Uh, I'm sorry. She didn't need him for, for uh, you know, uh, for money or prestige. She was uh, Basparo. I, the table glade, the hot to be shiny. Okay, so another issue. Um, so she was the first generation mitzvah. Right? And, right, awesome. and, and that should be also. So how can he go ahead and marry her then? It's a door shlishing. Uh, so let's see. And if you want to say, hey, these are just names, right? The, the Palestinians and the Plishtim, right? They're not the, you know, talking about the same people. They're not the same people, right? So it's over here. There were Egyptians, but these Egyptians didn't come from the original Egyptians, right? They were just Mitzrayim, right? Because they, they, they're the land of Egypt, but they weren't the yeah. same lineage. It's the second generation of what the first generation after it's No, or the first generation midstream. So if it comes from that lineage, you can't marry them. They have to, you know, once they, uh, you know, they uh, convert, then they have to marry each other until their third generation. Then the third generation, you can go ahead and marry them. Right. So the Gwara says, he was a convert mitzri, and he was for the Tamid of Rabbi Kiva. And Amar he says, "On a mitzri shayven as he mitzri every shayv." I am a first generation mitzri. You know, as my father was a mitzri, my father's father was a mitzri. All mitzri, so I'm I, I'm still a mitzri, right? And I married a also a mitzri rishona who, who converted with me. Asking the I'm going to go ahead and my child will marry. Right, he's now a second generation because he's now Jewish. My grandchild can enter into the emigration. So you see over here that it still follows and it's still Mitzrayim. It's the, the, we, we treat it the same. It's not just, you know, from the land of Egypt, but it's, you know, the lineage follows. So now Papa, right? So he says, uh, what you're going to ask by Shlomo? By Shlomo, no, not see me day, right? He didn't marry her. The Chesim, it says, I mean, a guy in Shamar, Shem El Bnei Yisrael, Right, so it says no that from the other nations, right? They uh, mm-hmm. don't go ahead and marry them. They should come with them, and they you shouldn't go to them, right? So and it says, right? So that um, he says over there that because why? What's going to happen? You're going to follow them and you know into their gods, but therefore you know you should love them, right? But not go ahead and marry them. So he loved, uh, I guess he loved Bas Paro, but you know, he treated her with love, but he didn't go ahead and marry her. I Elakasha Vayis Khatain. It says I Vayis Khatain. So we take Ava Yisera Shaba Malakas of Kilo Nishatan Ba. Because the extra love he showed her, he wasn't necessarily married to her. Rather, it was like it was considered to be like a uh, like a marriage. Fine. Um, so he wasn't really married, to right? According to, according to this chat, right? Uh, so Amr Le Rabbi Ravashi, Rabbi Nisid Ravashi, Bonant and I, we learned so the Hakam Chorishaf from the Torah, the Giyores Meshukaris, that they are mutter to a Giyores and a Shukaris. Ah, but a Sina Siri, but in a Sina they would be usher, right? Doesn't mention a Mishnah. So Amr Le, you let Hamei Chaim a Seva Seva says Ena Sirim Ella Milavovik Ahal. Oh, uh, but Asina Shari. It sounds like they can't look at the Boba Kal, but they can marry an Asina. So let me off, like a little But from here, rather, there is nothing to make a, uh, a diuk out of. We'll just do, just this, maybe let's just do the Mishnah. I mean, it moves afterwards, but uh, let's just do the Mishnah. So the Mishnah says, 
Amoni Umoavi Asrim, a person from Amon and Moab Asrim, the Surim Israel. They're they're Asr and they're Asr forever, but their women, their wives, Mutaros, Miyad, even first generation Amoni Moavi, or the Khar will be Machogos in the Gabara, even the females of the Moani Umoavi are much of the immediately. Mitzri Vadomi, those are from Mitzray or Mitzri or Adomi, Ana Masurb Ella Ach Lash Doros. Those are Mutter third generation, Echad Zharam Echad and the Kavas. Both a male and female, Rabbi Shimon Mater is in the Kavas, Miyat. However, Rabbi Shimon says, no, the females, the Shlush, that which you say third generation is only referring to the males, but the females are Mutter Miyat. And I'm Rabbi Shimon Kavachim Advarn, it's a Kavachim, my Makam Shasra Zharam Asr Israel. He just in the case of miyad in a case of where the men are always asr forever and the women are mutter immediately, i.e., referring to Amon and Moab. So suddenly in this case where the men are only forbidden for three generations not forever, ain't no did in the case of miyad. It's an obvious we should match the woman immediately, right? If the case of the, where the men are asr forever, the women are mutter immediately. So if men are only asked for three generations, certainly the woman should be uh, mutter immediately. Some are low. Imalacha and the kabel. If you have a masora, this is a, from your rebbe, then we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll uh, you know we'll, we'll, we'll take your limud. However, imadin. However, if it's just your svara, right, your kabel that you made, yes shuba, then we can basically we'll, we'll, we we can ask on you. No, I was actually taught this Masara, this halacha, and therefore I just repeated what I learned from my Rebbe, who learned from his Rebbe, and therefore the, the, the females are motor right away, and we'll have to see in the Gabara uh, how it goes. All right, shkayach, everybody. So.